Hey scrapbookers, so it's Super Bowl Sunday and Whimsy Doodle had a big sale. And yes I did. Remember I said I wasn't gonna buy anything else in um, 2015? Well, I did. Um, and I also, one of the things I did recently was I was on the paper clipping round table and we talked about the 32nd office or the 32nd scrapbook room. And while I really do have that, um, one of the things that I was kind of struck with after coming out of the show was embellishments are a problem. They're not just my problem. I think a lot of people have the same problem. I can find pattern paper easily. Um, those are kind of organized by, they're older pa pattern papers that are organized by color. And it, as you can see on those shelves over there, they're pretty low. Like they could be much thicker. So I think I'm wasting a lot of space there. Also, the baskets, like not the bins on the top. The bins on the top, I actually have like die cuts and tools and ribbons and lesser used scrapbooking supplies that I know exactly where to look when I need them. Um, but those baskets are honestly full of like just random, random stuff. So here's what I'm thinking. Well, this one's has um like foam foam stamps that I never use. Okay. Then I've got a variety of craft projects that I thought I would do someday and never did. Like, you know, a frame that needs to be decorated. Or like a box that you could, you know, but it just nothing really has happened with that. And then I've got um, yarn. I don't even know what's in the next one. Hold on. Let's look. So I'm thinking about rethinking. I like the way these look. So there's yarn. These are picture frames, <laughs> ribbon, kids' crafts, and like more random organizery things. And honestly, that row of shelves has been just like that row of shelves kind of collects dust. So it's a huge waste of space. So I'm thinking embellishments organized by type and like like Christmas, like I, I kind of already have my place for Christmas embellishments, but like boy embellishments, um, vintage embellishments. Um, like the, you know, modern embe bleh, embellishments, <laughs> you know, girl, boy, um, I don't even know, <laughs> but I'm thinking that I can use that space better. So let me just try a couple things. So I'm wondering like, well, that's a really big spot and I want it to be cute. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> But um, one idea would be to use shoe boxes, and that's really not, like, I don't think that's cute at all. Um, so I don't really want to do that. Um, hmm. Another idea would be, you know, my Revere Bowls. That's cuter. Actually, that's pretty cute. And then what I could do is, like, if that was the boy shelf, then um, the, what do you call it, can go next to it, the paper. But I don't think that's a great use of space, actually. But I do think it's really cute. So that's a contender. Um, I also have, like, shoe boxes like this that, um, that could go. And those don't look quite so bad as... Um, like if I, as the plastic shoe boxes, actually those could, that could maybe work. Just trying to see what else here. I have um, like this sort of thing, that fits. But I kind of want it to be uniform across the whole space and I don't know, um, <laughs> I think that's gonna be tough. So, if you have any ideas on that, let me know. You want to see what I bought? <laughs> so, we spent 100 bucks, and um, 
Sorry about the, the wobble there. I bought three um, Canson art books. Um, my kids and I are going to go on a big long road trip soon. And so they can color or draw in the car. And that's been something, um, I've been homeschooling my son. And he's been, uh, we've made art part of that. And he went from stick figures to drawing like dimensional things in two weeks. Like I had no idea. It's amazing. He can do really amazing work. Um, yeah, let me just put this back for now. But I am thinking of redoing that row on my um, exhibit because it's really that stuff is not is not stuff that I use, and um, it's space that is right here that I could see that would be easy. So we'll see. Okay, then next up I have five packs of Project Life um, page protectors. There's ten to a set, so I got fifty for five dollars. And then where these go, I talked about that on the paper clipping round table. I have um yeah, this here. So I just have a binder full of empty page protectors, and then those will go, and I'll unpack them, I'll unpackage them, and put them in there, but that's where they're going to go. The art books are going to go downstairs with, um, ooh, that won't fit. The art books are going to go downstairs with the homeschooling supplies. There we go. So try that again. <laughs> it's not going. It's not going to go in before I attach it. So I'll just put them right in between these two albums. Which somehow they don't seem to want to fit. There we go. So they're on the shelf. Whenever I um, do a big shop, I like to put this stuff away like right away. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. So the next thing I bought was... Hold on. More of this stuff out. Okay, so then I bought also for a dollar a piece. Um, we are memory keepers. They are um, like six by twelve, and then I bought the like the baseball card size ones. So I bought a bunch of those too, and those will also go in a binder while they're while I'm waiting to put them somewhere. But for now, I'm just going to put them... <laughs> no, they're not going to fit there. I'm just going to put them on top of where I keep my um, completed layouts. Yeah. Get some of those stuff out. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. Um, yeah, hold on just a sec. Are you there? Okay. <sighs> so I ordered a planner on um, Amazon. But it won't come till the end of February. It's now February 1st. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. But I found this for $4 at um, Whimsy Doodle. And Jill, the lady that owns the store, said she's got one and she loves it. Oh, they have stickers too. In the way back. They're really cute. Oh. They look like that. Kind of adorable. Um, and so, I don't think you can see. So I'm going to use this, I think, as the one that goes into my purse. Yeah, my desk is a mess. So it's <laughs> one of my the videos that I just did, I showed like, oh, my desk is kind of a mess, which is fine, except if I bring in new stuff and my desk is a mess, then it's kind of like, where am I going to put all this stuff? I'll figure it out. And the other thing that I will do is when I bring stuff in, I get rid of stuff. So... It doesn't always happen like right immediately, but it's, you know, I'm due for a big purge. So the next thing I got was this Becky Higgins. It's called Project Life My Story Pages. And then it has this little album. And so I got this for four bucks each. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that for myself or give it maybe to my daughter. I don't know. I might keep it. 
We'll see. Or I or, originally I thought I would just use the pages on regular, you know, like I wouldn't use them as a book. And then I saw, oh, they've got a book, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cute. So I might keep that all together. Uh, I'm a little bit, um, <laughs> a little bit like, oh, I've got too much stuff. I got two Adirondack dye ink. And I can't remember what Wilna said about I think the pigment ink is the stuff that stays forever. So this is dye ink. Uh, I got slate and ginger. So I'm going to put that in my... I have a drawer just for stamping. And I don't really stamp all that much. Or <laughs> use those foam stamps. So perhaps those, um, those could be looked over for the purge. For the purge. There's a movie about the purge, right? I don't watch stuff like that, but... It was a thing. Um, but the purge needs to happen around here. <laughs> so, next, I have these um, My Mind's Eye decorative tape sets. And what was really cute about these is they came in all different widths. So those are $3 each. And then the Now and Then, that's also, I think, My Mind's Eye with some little whoopsies some label stickers. So if I was making kits, these wouldn't go in the kits. They wouldn't be part of a theme. They would just be, I would still sort these by, these are washi tapes. So I, I keep washi tapes in my Roscog, so I'm going to put them there right now. So I, <laughs> I film my process videos in real time, and oftentimes <laughs> I film my haul videos in real time too, just because I want to put everything away right away so it's not like still in a bag or you know completely stressing me out so <laughs> back. Um, I do sometimes get complaints about my haul videos because I don't do them right but what are you gonna do this is the way I do them so if you don't like <laughs> if you don't like it there's a lot of people who do them right okay next Wow I need a bin for all of these um, embellishments that I just got. I think I'm just going to use, this has been like sort of my, some newer embellishments. I'm just going to put them right into here. I have probably enough space. But what I would like to do, instead of just keeping all of my embellishments in one place, I want to start to break them up by, by some kind of a theme. So I'm thinking like retro, modern boy, girl, and that might cover it until I, so if I were going to do that, like, those would be retro, retro, modern, you know what I mean? I think that will work. So each of these were, this was 50 cents, this is, um, like, Project Life type cards. Oh, I fell in love with these. These are October afternoon. They're called Public Library. I love them. Okay, and this, that's the other thing that I mentioned on the paper clipping round table is that sometimes, like, if I buy two things that are in the same line, they don't always stay together on the page. So whatever I'm going to get has to be, like, like, 12 by 6. I could use my Helmar drawers. Um, I'm thinking about that. But I don't know. Maybe I just need more Helmar drawers. It's quite possible. Um, anyways, those, those need to stay together. And I don't always keep them together. So that's a challenge. This is basic gray persimmon, $1. And those are die cut cardstock and transparency. It's so cute. Then I got boys roll. Those are a dollar each. So I got two packs. Really adorable. That's from Crate Paper. And then also, like, two sets of the letters. Um, I've been running around, so I'm all hot and sweaty. And it's a little bit warm today. <laughs> it is. It's, um, I'm in Florida, and I know the rest of the country is cold, but we're not cold today. Fancy Pants Library Cards. So those I almost want to stay with the library stuff. 
That's my challenge. That's going to be my challenge. It's like how to do the embellishments where I keep them all together. Now, this is um, wedding stickers, and I didn't get married recently or anything like that. It's been 16 years, but I'll look at all that stuff for 75 cents. So I said, I'll take it. And then I've got a bunch of gyp seven gypsies. Um, these are transparencies. I thought I could have some fun with those. I actually got two different sets of those. And here we've got library collection. Yeah, my work cut out for me. Then another October afternoon, but this is um, 9 to 5. I like that a lot. And a bunch of Seven Gypsies, like little tiny types of things. These are 25 cents each. Ta-da. And those don't need to go, these are more like, um, just like, I would maybe even put these in my little letter stickers drawer because they're just like little labels that, they're pretty generic. I mean, some of them are a little bit themed, but not so much. And those are gaffer tape with months of the year on them. I thought that was cute. I don't think I'm going to be able to put everything in, in here. <laughs> um, then I have Project Life, Here's the Story. That's 75 cents and I got they're like chipboard but three um, three sets there. Bella Boulevard. So some more boy stuff. So I want to definitely start like a boy place for embellishments and then a girl place for embellishments and see how that works. These are color rub-ons by Seven Gypsies. I like the Seven Gypsies stuff because it looks pretty um, basic and retro. So I do a lot of um, family history. I really liked all of those little Beach bubbles. That's Studio Calico. Also, one buck. That's my uh, <laughs> one dollar. It makes me happy for embellishments. This was, whoops, one dollar also. Pink Paisley. And I just love that. I used to have pen pals back in the day. I think this is called pen pals. And now and then, these are project life type cards, some flair. So see how that looks kind of modern? I'd like to have a place where like all the really modern stuff looks, regardless of whether it's like chipboard or flair or whatever, you know. Here's some 70, 50 cents for some basic gray persimmon sticker sheets. Oh, I'm all overheated. It was exciting in there. I mean, it was like, I was talking to one lady, and she's like, my heart is racing. I'm like, I know. <laughs> Hold on just a sec. Okay, back. Days of the week. That was a dollar. That's also my mind's eye. And then more of that persimmon. So see, I got a bunch of different things from that persimmon line. And even if I just put them in here, it's pretty easy to get them all mixed up. Mm hmm it is. This is um, also basic gray. That's called, I don't know what line that's from. Capture, I guess. And finally, oh, almost finally, we're almost done. Some stickers from My Mind's Eye and more stickers and... Yeah, I really think that's the, that's the thing with the embellishments, if I can get them separated into like theme and I've done that in the past but hmm, yeah I'm gonna do it again which also like during that um, paper clipping round table will know is like if I have to organize all my stuff like that just I'm done and I kind of feel that I get that like cuz I feel like uh, I don't really I don't really want to do that either but I think it's time so this is um a pack that it was ten dollars and the thing that kind of bugs me about my expedite shelves is I don't think these will always stand straight up so let's just well those will 
But I have some things like this where they won't stand straight up. I got a ton of, this is a nice pocket too because this comes so that if you have embellishments, like you can just slide them into these little pockets there. That's pretty cool. I don't, I don't know um, who makes this folder thing, but it's nice to store a kit with. Like I wonder if you could get these down in the bottom, like the 12, I think you can. The 12 by 6 sticker sheets and that sort of thing. Um, not quite. It's, you can, but, yeah, you can. It's a little bit difficult, but not that bad. Yeah, those are nice. I wish they had a whole bunch of those envelopes. Because then I could just make, like, all the kits, and they could just fit right like that. I'm trying to see who makes this. I don't know, but let's pull all this stuff out. So that's what it looks like. It's cool. That's a solution right there. I should look up that on Amazon and then maybe... <laughs> the thing is, is I don't really want to buy more organizing things. Although, when I do that, I do want it to look uniform. So. Okay, so all this Heidi Swap stuff was $10 altogether. So the file folders, the um, banners, and then this is the color pop. So I think what you can do is like spray mist or watercolor or whatever. And then this stuff, which is kind of shiny, will stay. It smells a little funky. It does. But otherwise, it's, it's really cute stuff. Hopefully, the smell will go away. I've noticed a lot of things smell kind of funky lately. Because they're plastic. Those are transparencies. They're really cute, huh? Yes, they are. And then Lux Stars. Um, I don't really know what you're supposed to do with those. I guess just put them on a page. And then Lux Circles. I don't know. Anyways, cuteness. Oh, and then i got to show you my pattern paper. I almost didn't buy any. Because I thought it was 50 cents a sheet. And then I saw it was 10 cents a sheet. And I was like, oh, now I have to buy it. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, here's the other... So, I have a whole bunch of these kinds of envelopes that I could put, like I could make kits and put them in there, but I'm not sure they do fit. Oh, they do. Okay, well I no longer have that excuse. And then, um, the stuff that I bought in these, they do these little, like, at the store they do these little tags which say what they are. That could be... That could be a solution. But I think within the, um, within these, like, I don't know if I could just leave those. I think at first, before you really use them, you could probably just leave them in the packs, the embellishments. But then after a while, you might want to, um, like, put them in a baggie or something like that so they don't, because there's, at the bottom of this, you see, like, little things could fall out. But that could be a solution. I really don't want to lose the pretty look at those baskets, but I think I'm going to have to. I think that's going to happen. Or maybe I could just move some stuff around so that the ugly stuff was towards the bottom. You know? Like I could move the, the, the binders up, and then the ugly stuff could be lower. Because I really do like how that looks. Alright, you want to see the paper? Just see if I can prop this up on something. Yep, I'm good on time. Okay, so 10 cents a sheet. This is what I got. That's not quite high enough, is it?
But it's, it is time to like get rid of some stuff. It really is. All right. So 10 cents a sheet. Teresa Collins stickers. More Teresa Collins. Like these are not stickers, but they're punch outs. Super cute stuff. See, that's where you kind of need something to catch stuff at the bottom, you know? Um, another Teresa Collins. I really like, like, I never really noticed the Teresa Collins stuff when it comes um, out at CHA time, but in the store, it's really nice basic stuff. That I think you, and this, not all of her lines, but this he said, she said, and the nicest paper. Oh, I love it. Just like, I love text paper like that. Then this, I know it's a little goofy, but I couldn't resist somehow. <laughs> Kaiser Craft Hello Sunshine. And I'll tell you what got me. The bear and the whale. Goofy, cute. It reminded me of the 70s. Some more notebooky kind of paper. Just, the, most of this stuff was just pretty basic. More Teresa Collins on that lovely paper. Oh, let's see if she calls it anything. This is from 2013. She doesn't call it anything in particular as far as the paper, but it's really nice, thick, textured paper. Oh, I love it. Doilies. Another cut apart. So, yeah, I think this Super Bowl Sunday... I'm going to go lay in my hammock for a while because it's so nice out and read Yes, Please by Amy Poehler. And then after that, I'm going to come in. Here's a bunch of this. The nice texture. Is that? Yeah. No, that's Basil Basics. It's like family tree stuff. And then I'm going to make kits, I think. It doesn't sound that fun, does it? It doesn't. I mean, it's fun to make one, but it's not fun to make ten. Maybe I'll just make one at a time. That could be my solution. That's probably a good solution, actually. It's tr instead of trying to do everything all at once, um, break it up. Yeah. I think that's what I'll do. So that's what I bought on this Super Bowl Sunday. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Yeah, I was going, I was looking through the pattern paper down there at Winston, like, <sighs> somebody was like, yeah, it's so hard to go shopping for scrapbooking supplies, isn't it? I was like, yeah, I know. First world problems, right? Um, but it was a little bit hot down there. So I have some stuff to organize. And I think, yeah, I think for a while I'm going to sacrifice the cuteness of that to um, make kits in these envelopes. And... I think what that, what will allow that to happen then is as I'm going through my things, I'll be picking out the things that I like. So then when I do the purge, it'll be like I've already picked out all the cute stuff. Then it will be pretty easy to just go purge, 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 purge. And maybe I'll do a little bit of purging while I'm doing it, um, but probably not a ton. So there you go. That's my whole video. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what else I can tell you. I don't know. I'm rooting for the Patriots, even though, you know, I know they had the little issue, but I, um, they're my, they're my hometown team, so I have to, uh, believe that Matt Damon did the, um, who is my 10th cousin, by the way, and so is Ben Affleck, both, they're cousins with each other, and they're both cousins with me. Um, yeah, we're all 10th cousins. Um, but I had to, they were like, one of them said, oh, you know, my nephew needed CPR, so I just took a little bit of air out of each of the 11 of the 12 balls, and then Ben Affleck was like, no, no, I did it, I did it, so I did it, um, I'm still rooting for the Patriots, but probably won't watch the game, so there you go, so happy Super Bowl Sunday, and happy scrapbooking, thank you for watching, I'm Katie Scott, bye. Hey scrapbookers, I just wanted to um, give you a quick little after video. This is my um, Alex cart and it moves around and I keep this bin here with um, a lot of the pattern paper that I use. 
on a regular basis. So, yeah, that's probably more than five inches, maybe six or seven inches. But that's what this is my main go-to paper. And then I have some other places where I keep paper where if I need it. But this is all the current stuff that I go to. Um, so what I did for the embellishments, instead of putting them on those shelves, like I was thinking about, because I just kind of felt like it was overwhelming to do that. <laughs> it was going to be too much work. So instead, I just found these, these little bins. They look like locker bins, kind of. They're metal, and I got them at the craft store a long time ago. I didn't just buy them. And then I had some cage protectors that I just bought, and they came in these um, plastic envelopes. So what I did is I used the plastic envelopes, which are like 6 by 12, to do um, different themed embellishments. So this is like school embellishments. This is that persimmon line that I just bought. Um, heritage items. This was close-knit by crepe paper, which I really liked. Um, fall themed embellishments. Um, Halloween and Christmas, and that way, like, I have a bunch of paper kits kind of put together, but I didn't have the embellishments to go with them, so now I can just grab these, like, here's school, and, um, it's all right there. This is, um, some of my mind's eye stuff. I forgot what this was. <laughs> this kind of, like, it's a more current, you know, modern like a modern retro kind of a look. And then for some of the things I had like more than one um, type of embellishment. So this is Simple Stories and I had like chipboard embellishments. I had the little, um, it's called Bits and Pieces. And then I actually had the pattern paper so I went ahead and cut that up just so it could stay right, because it was all cut apart. So it wasn't any full sheets. Um, so I just put that right in there. And I think that's really gonna work nicely. Here's a pack for just girl themed and then with the boy stuff. And so these these will probably come out of those clamshell packaging, but um, yeah, I just put them in there for now and I think I'm happy with that. Um, I think that's going to work for me. It's right here next to my desk. I can just grab one and then put it away and then I will, I'm going to show you my desk is clean. Like, hallelujah. Um, hold on just a second. I'm going to move the camera. So, okay. So you're back. Um, and look. Ta-da! My desk is clean. So what do I have on my desk? A bottle of water. I have um, my cutting mat. I know you're getting a lot of glare there. Um, my guillotine cutter, which I use all the time. And then that little bin of, whoop, that's like adhesives and the little letter stickers and some scissors. And... I have some, I cleaned up, <laughs> I cleaned up the, um, the Revere Bowls, so there's like a lot of those embellishments went into those packs that I just showed you. I have my sewing machine, and, um, and then, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it one, once more. Okay, so then I have my husband's dirty laundry that I need to fold, <laughs> but then I have these two, um, these two little... Um, bins right next to the pattern paper which just sits on an Alex cart and that's going to solve my embellishment problems and then the um, the other thing that I have is I have made like all of that paper isn't kind of kitted up but I did kit up a bunch of papers so that way when I say I wanted to work on Christmas then most of this is Christmas paper and then I can just grab the Christmas embellishment um, little pack there and I can be ready to go for Calvin Ball in March and I think I'm going to be um, well situated. <laughs> so my next step is just to get um, my photos together. So thanks for watching. I'll, see, I'll talk to you later. Bye.